So once you type in your data, whatever you're wanting to add, I'm gonna show you some features that are pretty cool within Google Sheets and makes it a little bit easier for you when you're trying to get to be able to see everything in, in the view of the cell itself. So to start to highlight everything, the entire sheet, there is a little square up here in the top left corner. If I click on that square, it's going to highlight the entire sheet. So whatever changes I make will be done to everything. So for example, if I want to make my columns wider, if I just grab the column between A and B and stretch it, it stretches all of my columns. And that's the same for my rows as well. So that's kind of a cool feature. Another thing that I can do if I deselect and I go between the column A and B and I double click, it automatically resizes it to fit the longest, the long the cell with to fit the cell with the most information in it. So here I have unit one assessment. If I double click, it's going to adjust to the unit one assessment. But maybe I don't want it that big. I can then just click and drag. All of this works exactly the same with the rows as well. So if I come over to one of my rows and I double click between row two and three, it's going to adjust row two and three. But if I highlight by clicking the square in the top left corner and then double clicking one of my rows, it's going to adjust everything in the spreadsheet. So those are a couple of features that you can do within your rows and columns and making the sizes different from what they need to be. Another feature I like is adjusting how the text or is written. So if I want my text to be centered left or right justified, I can select the column or columns, so I can click and drag over the column or columns, and then I come up to the justification choice and I choose center, it's going to center all of my data. This also works the same if you wanna change the font size, the font color, anything that you wanna change, you can do that when you highlight all of the information. So you'll see here it's kind of overlapping. I can then click and drag and it makes them all wider if I want. Another feature I like is adding the borders. So I want this information to have a border around it. I'm gonna click and drag over the information. So I just click on the first cell and go diagonally to the last cell. And then this little icon for borders, when I click on it, it gives you some different choices, but I'm gonna choose this all borders and it's gonna put a border around everything. And then if I wanted, I could change the color of the border and I can change the style of the border as well. And so that's how it will print when you print it out. It also makes it easier to see what's going on within each cell as well.